Welcome to a new episode of Father Mahoney's House of Horrors. Now, I said I was going to start a new series, and I have. We're going to start with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre series. Although, we're going to start with part three. The reason being is last year I did a Father Mahoney's House of Horrors when we used to do the live podcast uh, of the original uh, 74 film. And then... Just months ago, I did a Father Mahoney's movie review on part three, two. So, this one is part three. This is a careful re-imaging of uh, the original '74 film. This is this came out in 1990 with a wonderful cast: William Butler, Kate Hodge, R. A. Milnahoff, who plays a very menacing uh, Leatherface in this one. Much different from the original Leatherface character, though. Uh, also, Vigo Mortensen and Joe Unger, who I, who Joe Unger does not get enough credit for this film. He plays Tinker, he plays like the older brother, and uh, he he him and Vigo Mortensen chew up the scenery in this movie. Um, so it's about two uh, college kids going across country who get sidetracked, you know, looking for gas, and they run into a guy named Tex, played by Vigo Mortensen. And uh, Texas, you know, he's, he looks like your local average, you know, trying to get home. And he convinces these two to, you know, listen to him. And when uh, an incident happens at the gas station, you know, they, William Butler takes his advice and takes a shortcut uh, to, to get to the interstate a lot faster. Well... What we what we find out later, and yes, the spoilers are coming. What we find out later is there was a carefully plotted trap to get these two to go down this road. Uh, and when they run into a a part time soldier who 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 just happens to be out cruising that night, when they run into Ken Foray, who Ken Foray is, you know, iconic. Uh, He's horror, horror, he's horror royalty. And when they run into him and realize they're being followed by uh, a bunch of uh, killers, you know, Ken Foray uh, tries to help them out. And what ensues is a very sadistic uh, family that they run into, the Sawyer family. And we're joined by a very young Gen- Jennifer Banco, who also was in Friday the 13th, Part 7, as the young Tina. So she she plays Leatherface's daughter in this. Yes, so Leatherface has a daughter. And Leatherface has a mother, has a couple brothers. It's it's a bigger, more twisted family than I, be- I believe the original one is. I'm not saying this movie is better than the original. I love the original. I love part two. But I really like what they did with this one. They gave the family, like, different characterizations. They gave, they even gave Leatherface kind of almost a comedic part. You know, the part when he's learning and doing this, the, the speaking spell, and he's trying to figure out what, it, it looks like a picture of a clown. And it's like, yeah, because it's five letters. And they're like, what is this? And he keeps putting F-O-O-D, because that's all Leatherface knows. He, he doesn't care about what they're doing in life. He doesn't care if it's a clown. He cares that that's a person, and that's food. So... Uh, I'm going. I'm rambling on the about this one, but I, I I really think this movie is very underappreciated in the series. Everybody talks about one. Everybody talks about two. Uh, the remake gets a lot of talk. Um, even the new 2022 gets a lot of talk. But I really dig this movie. This has a little bit of both. The first one was scary. Uh, but not bloody. The second one was bloody, but not as scary. This one has a mix of both. This is very bloody, and this is very scary. And too bad they they got rid of the X rating. I know they were going for a very brutal movie, and they had to cut back on a lot on this. And 
uh, kudos to the director for like sticking with this project and still making it happen. Um, so I'm going to give this a good four out of five stars. I know a lot of people, yeah, you know, doesn't care for this one as much, but I, I really think if you haven't given an honest look on this movie, watch one, watch two, and then watch this in a row. And I guarantee you this one can hold its chops against the other two. I'm, like I said, I'm not saying it's better. I'm just saying that it, 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 it's a good continuation story, but it's also a retelling in a way. So, and you know how I feel about like remakes, retellings. I, I'm not usually a fan of them, but I really dig this one. So, uh, four out of five stars. Watch a little piece, and uh, whenever you see, whenever you see a home that looks very innocent, you might want to just assume it's a. a a Texas Chainsaw House. Because that's, that's, that's the one consistency in this whole series. Is that there always seems to be a beautiful resting place for these guys. Just saying.